Rodriguez, Doug Timmer, and Trin Lee for a total of eight minutes. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Christy Hill. I'm the Senior Legal and Policy Analyst with the Center on Policy Initiatives. Today's conversation is not just about whether or not a contract is going to be signed. It's about whether we as a community, as a city, are going to put corporate profits ahead of the needs of hardworking families in San Diego. Irresponsible employers do not strengthen our economy and should not be rewarded. We all agree that the tourism industry is a major and important force in the San Diego economy. However, flashy PowerPoints and deceptive numbers do not distract from the fact that an overwhelming number of workers in the tourism industry do not have good middle-class jobs, as the PowerPoint would lead you to believe. The information presented about employment in this industry is very different from the daily realities of many workers in the tourism industry, as you will hear from today. It is also different from the facts reported by various sources, like the United States Census. So let's talk about some of the facts of this industry. Let's start with what it means to be middle class. Does anyone believe that making $24,400 a year is a good middle class salary? This is the median annual salary for workers in the accommodation and food service industry in the county. For many of the service workers in the tourism industry, their hourly wage does not rise higher, much higher than $10 an hour. So we're not talking about the middle class. We're talking about what it takes to, to meet basic needs, paying rent, putting food on the table, paying for child care. These are the things that allow you to be self-sufficient. Is it too much to ask that an industry that self-reports being the second largest traded industry, that, that, that they pay a self-sufficiency wage? Surely their profits can allow that. A single person that doesn't have a family to support needs at least a, a full-time job that pays $29,000 a year just to meet these basic expenses. And the need for health insurance is an additional cost. In 2011, over 130,000 people in San Diego County who worked full-time year-round did not have health insurance. We know that there are too many people who are working full-time year-round who live in poverty. It's time that our local industries take responsibility for providing good wages to give their employees a decent quality of life. We applaud Mayor Filner for calling on the industry to, to do better by its workers. There has been discussion about risk to the city's economic well-being if this contract is not signed. The opposite is true. Signing this contract without ensuring accountability and responsible employment practices puts the economic well-being of many of the workers and the city of San Diego in jeopardy. We believe no action should occur until legal issues have been resolved and an agreement has been reached that supports the hardworking people who clean our rooms, prepare our foods, and provide hospitality to visitors and residents alike in San Diego. We cannot neglect these workers who, whose work is so essential to the success of our tourism industry. This issue has struck a nerve with people, as witnessed by the large number of folks in the overflow rooms who are standing with workers and calling on those in the TMD to do the right thing. If employers are thriving in San Diego, they should do well by the community. Thank you. Matt Kostrinsky, followed by Dennis Boisvert, followed